Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I have this GPU. It's a 3070 from MSI and it's a great card, but one of the fans are broke and that causes annoying sounds and way overheating. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to replace it. You can go ahead and start off by taking these screws out. Then you can go ahead and wiggle this, this part away from this part here. You can hold both parts and just pull a little bit, just like so. As you can see, we have two cables right here and here. Oh, I got some dust in this one. What is this? It's a dead animal. Disgusting. As you can see, you have two wires here and here. You're going to go ahead and get these off. Now that you have the card like this, unplug the wires. You can go ahead and maybe clean up this area and this area, but I'm going to go ahead and just do the fan replacement first. So that means we need to focus on this area. So as you can see here, inside of these, there is a screws down there. We want to hit those. So as you can see, you can actually screw them out while the fans are in. But keep in mind, you need a thin screwdriver like mine. All right, so there should be three screws on each fan. And then when these three are out, you should be able to lift the fan out. Just like that. Now be careful of the wire. So to get the wire out, you might have to screw this screw out on right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Then I should be able to lift the wires out like so. Now keep in mind that the one with the white one is the one with the longer wire and the one with the shorter wire is the black one. Now I got my fans at gpufanreplacement.com. That's a great website and they have many fan replacements, but I'm sure you can get them other places as well. Now you might be able to see here that we need to get the connector out of there. And in order to do that, we might have to lift off this whole shroud. So what we can go ahead and do is just unscrew the other fan and then we can find the little screws that are hidden right there. Just like that, I'll show you after, but let's go ahead and unscrew the other fan. All right, so after doing that, we should be able to see these screws that we need to hit. I think there's two on each side. So there's one there, there's one there. I don't know if you can see that you should be able to see it right there. And then on the other two sides, there's one there and one right here. I'm not sure if the camera is focused, there you go. So let's try to check out those four. All right, so after having done that, I believe it should be possible to lift off the whole shroud, as you can see, and take it away from the middle, put the middle to the side so we can clean that later. And then we're actually able to take the fans completely out of the shroud. Be mindful of the cables, you might need to do some wiggling. So the old fans are out, I'm gonna throw these away. Now the new fans. So keep in mind where you put the old fans and then route them through. Something like that. And then you want to route the cable the same way that the original cable was routed. So that's something like this. You want to go down there and go through here. Like that. And then it was routed next to this screw hole right here. Simply because that's where we screw in the big screw. This one. So we'll do the same with the other fan. And then route it through and then what you should be able to do now is simply screw on this the cable holder screw or whatever you want to call that like so and then what i'm going to go ahead and do is i am going to flip this over just so we can get those temps back to normal Alright, that should be fine. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the same procedure on the GPU itself. Should be easy. Alright, now what you could actually go ahead and do is you could, I think, screw the fans in just like sitting right here. So if you just line up the holes and put in the little screws. We should actually be able to get it just right. It can be a little bit tricky to get the screw in between the fins, but if you come at it from an angle, it should not be impossible. I can actually see that there's some of the fans that are further apart, which makes it easier to screw in. So you can go ahead and try and look for that. All right, so both fans are completely screwed in. 
So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is return back to this and try to um, replace the shroud onto the uh, metal heat sink. So I just need to make sure I'm doing it the right orientation here, so give me a second. All right, now what I'm gonna do is, as I said before, I'm gonna go ahead and connect the fans again. So we need white on white and black on black, obviously, like so. And like so, then we can go ahead and put the thermal paste on. This is important. Like so. And then I'm gonna go ahead and place this on top. And you can kind of line up the screws here in the four screws in the middle. And then you will know that you have a good fit. That would be like so. Then you can go ahead and screw in these four. Some people say you have to screw them slowly and one by one and like put screws in the cor opposite corners and stuff. I mean, I understand why you need to do that, but I have done it both ways so many times and I've never seen a difference. Just keep that in mind. There we go. And as you can see now, the fans are sitting, fan connectors sitting right here. We got fans that can spin and I'm gonna put this in the machine now. So as you can see here, the fans are both spinning just fine and we got amazing temperatures. I am running Fermat as we talk right now. And we can see that the fans are actually running the same RPM, which was not happening before because one of the fans were not able to run. So that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you found this useful. You can apply this to similar graphics cards, no problem. This is just a general way to replace the vans. This helped out this GPU a lot and made it actually usable again before it wasn't usable at all. It was making extremely loud noises when fully spinning and uh, it actually couldn't cool the GPU probably. Um, we dropped about 20 uh, degrees on the uh, hotspot and over 30 on the uh, GPU core. And that's because the thermal paste was old and the fans were broken. So definitely revive this GPU. Thank you guys for watching.